Second theorem to determine the moment of inertia is perpendicular axis theorem. Suppose we want to determine moment of inertia about an axis. This is x axis, y axis, and this is z axis. And we want to determine the moment of inertia about a axis. Moment of inertia of a body about the axis is equal to the sum of moment of inertia of two mutually perpendicular axis i z equal to i x plus i y where i x and i y represent the moment of inertia about x axis and y axis and similarly we can write i x equal to i y plus i z or i y equal to i x plus i z here x and z are perpendicular to each other y and z are perpendicular to each other and x and y are also perpendicular to each other to derive this suppose this is a x y plane and let us consider is a particle of mass small m and this is origin distance of this particle is small r and coordinate of this point is x y it means distance from x axis is y and distance from y axis is x and we know that r square should be equal to x square plus y square moment of inertia of this particle about this axis it should be i dash equal to m r square this is moment of inertia of this particle and moment of inertia of body it should be equal to sigma i dash we should add the moment of inertia of all the particles as moment of inertia is a scalar quantity and we can write i dash is m r square sigma m r square and we know that r square equal to x square plus y square sigma m r square plus x square plus y square and we can write i equal to sigma m x square plus sigma m y square x is the distance from y axis it means sigma m x square represents the moment of inertia of the body about y axis and sigma m y square y is the distance of the particle from x axis it means it represents moment of inertia about x axis and this is moment of inertia about z axis and i z equal to sigma m x square is i y and sigma m y square is i x this is perpendicular axis theorem thank you